I am very much worried about how to make Nebosh IG2 risk assessment report. I have five days deadline for that. Dear friends, don't you know that there's easy way to do the IG2 assessment for Nebosh? I don't know. My brain is not working on that. Could you please explain me how it can be done easily? Okay, friend, let's see how to do this assessment. See, there are four segments in IG2 risk assessment. Background, risk assessment, prioritize three action justification and review section. Yes, I know that, but how to do this all sections? You need to understand part by part. Let's see the first part background. In background part you need to select the organization name it could imaginary name or real name. Then location of the site remember the location should be right where it is in the world like Delhi, India. City and country name after that you need to write the number of workers in the works it. The column only you need to write numerical value like 50, 100. Thanks it's really so interesting and easy tricks, let's do the all. No problem I can make you understand the whole project. Okay then you need to write general description of the organization. In this part you need to write in three paragraphs. First of all you, you need to give clear introduction of the organization like XYZ organization started their journey from 2015 as civil construction company. They are having their head office in capital city of the country and two branch offices in Kolkata and Assam. They are generally doing civil construction like road and building construction, bridges and also mega civil infrastructure project and oil and gas projects as civil contractor. Then you need to write in second paragraph about the activities which is undertaking by the organization like here in XYZ organization doing typical construction activities like excavation, foundation, heavy vehicle movement, erection of column, lifting and rigging, scaffolding, work at height, painting, welding, cutting and grinding, manual handling activities. Now the last paragraph here in this segment and it is all about the their work pattern like when they start their work and when they end the shifts. So. You can write XYZ organization started their activities at site from Monday to Saturday and Sunday considered as weekly off and they work from 8 o'clock to 5 o'clock including 1 hour lunch break. Here we have completed this part. But remember you have one more segment in this background part. Very good it's interesting could you please continue all the part? Yes I am here to help you. Okay then continue the remaining parts. So. Now you need to write which sources of information you have consulted here for your risk assessment. Remember this part you can also write after the whole project, but I recommended orderly writing the project so let's see. Okay let's start. Okay then, you need to write here what are the sources of information you have consulted for this risk assessment like International Labor Organization. Remember consulting ILO is mandatory, but you can also add local law such as Indian Labor Act and other acts. So. Let's see how you can write. Before starting my risk assessment I was looking for construction related ILO references such as conventions and recommendations. Where I have got ILO convention C-155, Occupational Health and Safety Convention, and also ILO recommendation R-164, Occupational Health and Safety Recommendation. I have found these convention and recommendation was great source of information for my risk assessment. Beside the ILO I have also searched Indian local law such as Indian Labor Act 1948. After reviewing these sources of information I have decided to go to site physically to inspect the site. During inspection I have talked with workers those who worked at site to know about their work hazards and risks. Which I have got information from the workers that was obviously not similar to the site conditions such as few workers not wearing their hearing protection while they are working at high noisy zone. Also some workers not properly anchored their full body harness while they are working at height. After reviewing and inspection the site then I have looked at their internal information such as accident and all health data from their register to know how often they are facing accident and what is the trend of the accident also it's give me access to understand is there any accident reoccurring or not. I have also checked their previous risk assessment and worker absent data to check their absenteeism records. After reviewing these I have revisited the references to find out the further controls as per the ILO guidelines, local laws and current control measures. That's fine, so here we have completed first part background right? Yes this all for today and tomorrow we will start again second part of risk assessment okay? Yes dear thanks you we will start tomorrow again. I think 4 hours can complete the report.